Hey everybody, welcome back to Mike Oski's Kitchen. My name is Michael Olszewski, and yes, I am the chef of this kitchen, and if you're tuning in, thank you for doing it, and I hope you're being the chef of your kitchen. We have been making so many fun meals right now. You know what, sometimes I like to get a little crazy, I like to get a little creative. Isn't that what cooking is all about? You get creative, you find a recipe, and you make it your own. So guess what? We're gonna make something very, very special. I was planning on grilling out tonight, but the thunderstorms and the downpours, ah, kind of kind of ended my opportunity there. So we're gonna grill inside, we're still gonna grill. We're gonna make a wonderful, creative, original, yes, it's original to me, um, dish, simple to make. It's called the pierogi toasty. If you know how to make grilled cheese, you're gonna know how to make this. This is not hard, simple, simple, simple ingredients, very, very basic but we're gonna build it to a Polish flavor that you would not believe. Now, if you have a Polish husband in your house, wives make it for him, they'll love it. If you have a Polish wife, husband make it for her, she'll love it. If you have Polish in-laws, when they come over, make this, it's so simple. It's a grilled cheese pretty much, but it's got a lot of Polish love to it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you what's in this, in this wonderful dish. We're gonna use some cheddar cheese, shredded cheddar cheese, butter, sauerkraut, salt and pepper, we're gonna use a link of Polish uh, kielbasa, okay? Just a link, we're not gonna use a lot of it. A white onion and bread. Let me just warn you on the bread, okay? I use this new bread called, well it's not new bread, but it's called sliced wide pan bread. If you get the regular, regular loaves are too small. See how big that thing is? You want a nice wide piece of bread. Uh, you can do a French bread, but just make sure it's wide because I'm gonna tell you why, you're gonna need it. And then of course, we're gonna use some Mrs. T's pierogies. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, but these are really good. They're good for this dish. I have the homemaders in the refrigerator and the freezer outside too. So we're gonna use these for this dish, simple to make. We're gonna boil them and, we're gonna, and then we're gonna go ahead and make sure that they're ready to go. We're gonna pat them down. I'll show you all the wonderful stuff. Look, come right back. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna chop up the kibasi and we're gonna chop up the onion. I'm gonna show you how much you need to do that because it's important. We don't want huge pieces um, but I want to make sure that you know the size of the chop that we're trying to do. So when I come back, we're going to chop these up and then we're going to head over to the hot spot. I'll see you right back here in a little bit. Okay, hey, welcome back. We got a little bit of cutting to do, just a little bit and a little bit of cooking over at the hot spot. That's all we're going to really do. I have kibasi and I have my onion. Now you got to cut it the way I think is most important way I'm going to show you here, okay? Because you don't want huge chunks of kibasi or huge chunks of onion flowing out of this thing or dropping out of the sides of it. So you wanna cut them nice and small, chop them, and it'd be fantastic. So let me show you here. I'm gonna go ahead and cut my kibasi. I've already, I've already cut it down. Use that one link, that's all I did. I cut it down in a couple pieces. So I'm gonna go um, cut it in half, and then I'm gonna take those two halves, and I'm gonna go ahead and cut them in half as well. So at this point now, I'm just gonna go ahead and quarter them. You see how small, you see that? See how they're coming off? That's exactly what we want. We don't want a huge chunk of kibasi because it would overwhelm the size. And that sandwich would just be just dropping kibasi out and everything else. You don't want that. So just cut it in half. And that's about what you want. Okay? So simple. So simple. Okay? I'm going to go ahead and cut the rest of this up and I'll be right back. <laughs> So we're done, with, we're done with the kibasi. We have nice little pieces here like this, you see? They're quartered, nice and thin. Again, we don't want them heavy because again, we don't want that, that pierogi toasty dripping stuff out of it. We wanna make sure it all stays inside the sandwich, okay? Now, let me show you what I, how the uh, onion should be. I'm gonna spin this around. I'm gonna go ahead and slice this onion up. Slice it and chop it. We want it small again. So again, we can combine these things, two, two things together. I'll show you how we're gonna do it. So I'm gonna go to half it and I'll just go right down the center. Okay, I'm gonna bring them all together and I'm just gonna go ahead and chop away. That's all I'm gonna do. No size as far as looking beautiful, but you want it nice small pieces of onion. Because all these onions and the kibasi are gonna sit together for a little bit in the hot spot. We wanna make sure that we get them nice and, nice and cut up so they all brown equally, okay? So there's half the onion. I'm gonna cut this other half and I'll be right back. Here you go. 
kielbasi, onion, two staples in Polish food that I think I need to be there every time because we're going to do it. Um, right now, I'm going to go ahead and go over to the hot spot. What we're going to do, put a tablespoon or two of butter into a pan, get it melted. We're going to add the kielbasi, we're going to add the onion, and we're going to go ahead and cook them till they're browned and caramelized. And then we'll come back over here to the workstation and we'll make this wonderful pierogi toasty. I'll see you over at the hot spot. Okay, as my onions and kielbasi are over there browning up, I also have a pot of water on the stove over there to, to boil the pierogi. But right now, I have sauerkraut in a can. You can use the jar, I don't care what you're I'm gonna go ahead and just put this thing right into a strainer and just wanna get the excess juice off that. We don't wanna rinse it, we wanna get the excess juice off it. At this point, you gotta go where I'm, I'm gonna meet you over there over at the hot spot. I'm gonna let this drain out because you don't want it to, it'll soak right through the bread, trust me. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this back in the, back in the sink, let it drip out, and I'll see you over at the hot spot. Okay, so our kielbasi and our onion have been cooking for a little while, and I just keep slicing them down a little bit as they cook. Again, I don't wanna have huge chunks going on to my pierogi toasty, so I'm just gonna keep mixing them around. And uh, these are about ready to go. <clears throat> the pierogi back here, about ready to boil. Got a dozen in there. We're gonna use two pierogi per sandwich. And I'll show you how it's gonna come together here in a little bit. But I'm gonna go ahead and finish up taking care of these guys. And I'm gonna go ahead and, um, got one right there, see that? Let's just cut it in half, boom, perfect. Keep letting them brown, another five minutes. We'll head back over, put this thing together. We're gonna have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Polish taste. See you in a bit. All right, great. We are here. We've arrived. Let's make our pierogi toasty or pierogi grilled cheese, whatever you want to call it. Here's how we're going to do it. Always remember to stay hydrated. I'm going to take a little butter. You've got to make grilled cheese in the past, right? I'm going to take a little butter, put it on a piece of bread. Come on, you guys made the grilled cheese. It's not that hard. But the way we're going to layer this and the, and the flavors that we're going to bring in into it, you're just going to be amazed. Now, what I've done with this griddle, you can do it on a griddle, you can do it in a pan, you can do it on a griddle on the stove, wherever you want to do. You know how to make grilled cheese, make it the way you like it, but just follow these directions. So I just went ahead and uh, buttered one piece of bread. I'm going to put it down, and this other one's going to go ahead and be buttered here in a second. Now, here's what we're going to do. Here's how we build this puppy. First things first, we're gonna take a little bit of shredded cheddar cheese, just a little bit, because we want the cheese, right? We want the cheese to be on there. I'm just gonna add a little bit here. Again, my hands are clean, so y'all worrying about my hands, don't worry about it, they're clean. I wash them a lot. So we, got the, we, we have the cheddar cheese. Now, the next is, remember the kielbasi and the onion? We're just gonna add a little bit on here and then push it into the grilled cheese a little bit, not or, or to the uh, shredded cheese. Not a lot, just enough to get a taste. I have my griddle set at about 350. Now, next thing, sauerkraut. Gotta have sauerkraut. So we're gonna take a little bit of kraut and we're just gonna shake it around here. Just a little bit. Fantastic, we want the taste of the kraut. Now, here comes the star of the show, our pierogi. We're gonna use two pierogi, one and two. Now, let's build it again. So we're gonna go backwards like we did before. We're gonna do it with the kraut. On top of the pierogi. It's like a song on top of pierogi. And then we're gonna go with the um, kielbasi and the onion. Just a little bit on top. We want taste, that's what we want taste. I like to put them on each side because we're gonna be cutting this thing right down the middle while we're ready to serve it. And then we're gonna finish up, finally, with some cheddar cheese. Okay? Now, take that last piece of bread and let's go ahead and butter it, just like you do making grilled cheese. And let's top it down. Folks, there it is. What we're gonna do is we're gonna keep an eye on it. I'm gonna take spatulas. I'm gonna go ahead and push this down a little bit because we wanna make it easy to flip when we're gonna flip it. Just like that. I'm gonna keep an eye on it. Let me peek. Nope, not yet. 
You know how to grill grilled cheese. Again, it's no different. So we're gonna go ahead and flip this when this other side is brown. We're gonna brown this side and we're gonna eat this creative pierogi toasty by Mike Goski's Kitchen. I'll see you back here in a little bit. Hey, welcome back. We are done. We're brown on both sides. We made a grilled cheese, but no, we didn't. We made a pierogi toasty. So anyway, we're done. We're gonna go ahead and put it right here. We're gonna slice it right down the middle. And we're gonna eat some pierogi toasty. Look, fantastic. We're gonna have to have these right now. That's all you gotta do. Let it cool off a little bit. It's gonna be warm. I got a few more to make, but you know what? I'll see you right back here. I'm gonna test this thing because I think it's fantastic. You're gonna love it. I'll be right back. Hey, it's time. It is time to try this wonderful, creative Polish taste of a grilled cheese called the pierogi toasty. Mine. You can use it. I'm gonna try it because I'm excited. Mm. Oh my goodness. Mm. I think I died and went to heaven. And I'm gonna tell you why. Because in this, you have Polish flavors, you have pierogi, you have uh, kraut, you have kielbasa, you have onion. Oh my God, is it good. And a little bit of cheese too, cheddar cheese. It's fantastic. You guys will love this. Super easy to make. Super wonderful to do. Make it for your friends. Make it for your family. If you know how to do grilled cheese, you can do this. I guarantee you. Super simple. Thanks so much for tuning in. And thanks so much for watching and being a part of this. If you have not yet subscribed, please do. We got tons more coming down the line. Fun stuff like this. Some grilling. Oh, a lot of fun. Look, I'll see you back here next week. Got a fantastic another dish coming up. But again, thank you for being here. And in my own special way, God bless you. And my Polish way, Nastrovia.